slows down. It's like hitting the uh, the pause button, and you just see and feel everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa guys, whoa, whoa, oh, oh no, oh my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. I was alert and conscious the whole time. It, you know, I felt every roll and, and I watched it. These wrecks where you have someone go end over end and barrel roll, they look really scary. And in reality, they're really not that bad. In the McDowell wreck, the angle between the car and the wall was about 25 degrees. Even though he was going 160 miles an hour this way, his motion into the wall was actually only 70 miles an hour. Every time he hit the safer barrier, every time something came off the car, that was dissipating kinetic energy. So each time he hit, the kinetic energy was being lowered by a little bit. So each force he felt was sort of small compared to if he had stopped all at one time. We're typically trying to limit impact to 50 to 60 Gs or less. 5 Gs is typically what you would experience in a roller coaster or a, another amusement park ride. If he experienced a 50 G force, for example, it would be like someone suddenly going from weighing 100 pounds to 5,000 pounds. What kind of force would you put on your legs and, and joints under that situation? It would be uh, outside the experience of any normal person. The impact was so great, the blood vessels broke in my eyes, so like all my eyes were all bloodshot, and that's why you should close them so they don't try to come out of your head is what they tell you. Gordon comes up, oh, he got oh, Kenton, got he got Kenton. Oh, and there goes Jeff, Jeff's in the inside wall. The absolute worst case for a wreck is when you come in straight into the wall because every bit of your speed is going into that wall. In the Jeff Gordon angle, he hit that probably pretty much a 45 degree angle because he really hit on the right front of the car. He was going somewhere around 170, 175 miles an hour. So it was a much greater fraction of his speed that was directed into the wall. When you hit the regular old concrete wall, you come to a stop really fast. And when that happens, you're gonna feel a lot of force. It's the same thing as if you fell onto something concrete. It's gonna hurt a lot. What I noticed about that impact was how severe it was an impact from internal uh, organs, actually. You know, I, I felt things inside my body, you know, stretching and moving. And the next day, I realized it felt like I had done a thousand sit-ups. And, and I would say that it probably was a month before I really felt the same on the inside. There he goes! He goes! Oh, the wall! Oh, and then the wall gets to the backside. It's Casey Kane, and they're scattering everywhere as they come to the line. In the case of the Casey Kane wreck, uh, it's actually interesting because he had two distinct wrecks. So the, the first thing that happened was that Kyle Busch had wrecked, Casey came up and went actually right underneath him. When Casey came up and went underneath him, uh, that was a hard hit, but it wasn't as hard as it would have been if Kyle would have actually come to a stop. It happens so quickly that, um, I mean, it just throws your body forward. I've been in so many wrecks over the years that you just start, you get used to it. When Jeff Burton came and actually hit the Casey Kane car, that was a worse hit because Casey was essentially standing still and then Jeff came in and hit him pretty hard. It's really easy when you're sitting at home watching, you say, well, why didn't he just put on the brakes? So if you look at the calculations, 160 miles an hour is about 235 feet per second. That means in one second, you go 235 feet. So you're gonna go two thirds of a football field before you even realize you have to stop. That's why uh, driving at those speeds is so dangerous. The amount of time you have to react is just almost nothing. You know, I'm sore a little bit right here. Uh, my neck's a little bit sore from just, you know, quick uh, stretch. And maybe my hips or something, you know, sometimes get sore, but that's about it. It's not nearly as bad as what it used to be. Even though I was hurting and sore, um, you know, at least I survived. As we make the car safer, people are going to become braver, which means we're going to have more accidents. And he walked away and waved to the crowd. My goodness.